Here we are with the work uh, finished. So you can see that it's much better than before. We have all the cables together, put together with uh, this uh, stuff that you saw on one of our vlogs. And everything is connected properly on the second battery. And there's the air tank just up there. So now we're gonna close the the seats. There, so everything fits behind and we're done. Hi, this is Emmeline from the Off Track family. I hope you're doing fine today. Yesterday in my vlog, I told you that I would show you what we packed for a free camping weekend, but we didn't have time yesterday. We had a lot of work going on at home and on the Defender. So we prepared everything this morning and now I'm gonna show you what we pack when we go bivouacking with our Defender just on the weekends. So here's everything that we prepared this morning and I'm gonna start with my stuff. So everything that I have here is what I always take when we go on a free camping weekend. So everything goes in my Herschel bag here and I didn't put here but I also take uh, the camera, GoPros and uh, electronic stuff. So what I always take first is my pajamas. So it will be uh, an icebreaker uh, jumper, an icebreaker um, pant, some socks and underwear and everything goes in this small bag here like this. I just need to take it up in the rooftop tent. I take some changing clothes just in case. So another icebreaker, long sleeves and uh, yoga pants and underwear, of course. And this is what I will put on after. So some socks, I keep a hat with me. A jumper, it's a fleece jumper and a small coat. I always take my Havaianas because just in case I have a problem with my shoes. Some gloves and here I have my electronics, so a headlamp. Maybe I'm gonna take it all out if I can, just a second. There, so I have a lamp some batteries for this lamp uh, normally i don't use this one it's just in case i have my headlamp a lighter a knife and this is the these are the chargers for the headlamps and uh, also my telephone and here i have my toiletries i took a cap because there's a lot of sun today there so that's for me and now for the children. So we're gonna start with Jade here. So she puts everything in her East Pack bag. She always takes a plastic bag just in case she or Vulcan isn't feeling well in the car because it already happened. So we always, always have a plastic bag. The children do take uh, some toys to play. They always take their radios. She has also a toiletry bag. The to their toiletry bags are always ready. They keep everything together like this. They just need to take this and everything is in it. The, uh, we also take our reusable bottles. So she has some gloves, uh, some socks with underwear, a scarf, fleece jumper, another jumper and uh, uh, some other pants that are thicker than the ones that she has on her. And she also took her hat, some gloves, um, another coat that she can put underneath her coat if she's cold, her hat for the sun and some other, another pair of shoes just in case because she, uh, she won't wear this today. I think the children will put their snow boots because we don't know where we are going. So in case there's some snow, but uh, we already, Volkan already had 
uh, some adventures with his shoes. So now we always take a second pair of shoes for the children. Now for Volcan. So it's the uh, same kind of clothes than for everybody. In fact, so here uh, he took, he's taking some toys, the radio, tissues. Uh, this is his toiletry bag. So <laughs> there's uh, only the necessary items in it. He's packing everything in his small Osprey pack here. So he has his reusable bottle. Uh, now he has uh, uh, some also icebreaker clothes. So this is 100% mer merino wool. Uh, he received this uh, at his birthday, so he hasn't used them yet. But uh, this is we can say it's the best buy it is very expensive but it's the best buy if you go camping if you sleep outside if you do anything that is that it's that is outside it's a very good buy it's absolutely worth the price so he has this he will maybe use them as a pajama he has a fleece jumper and this is in fact, this is his pyjama, but uh, we will say that it's more uh, some changing clothes in case he gets wet, because he often gets wet <laughs> when we go camping. Uh, he takes two pairs of gloves. So he uses these old gloves for uh, taking the wood, preparing the fire, so he doesn't hurt himself. And they are old, so he doesn't, we don't care if they they are broken and he keeps these ones uh, in case he has cold hands afterwards when we are just uh, next to the fire and enjoying so he has also a pair, another pair of socks another uh, pair of underwear a scarf a winter hat um, often when we do camp uh, and sleep in the car, we do sleep with a hat on our heads because we don't have any heating in the car while sleeping, just good sleeping bags. And of course for him, very important, another pair of shoes and a cap for the sun. So now maybe the most interesting <laughs> packing here. So this is my husband packing. So. Here's what he's, he takes. He takes a second pair of shoes. Those are his um, hiking shoes, trekking shoes, because he drives a car with his sneakers. He has the, this kind of um, uh, flip-flops uh, in case we have to go get out of the tent and that it's not raining, of course. <laughs> it's better with this. Uh, always a cap on his head. Uh, this is a liner jacket, so he uses it uh, when it's not too cold, and he puts it under his raincoat uh, when it's when it gets colder. So I think it is a North Face. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's a North Face uh, synthetic uh, liner coat there so here uh, this is uh, the pants that he uses when we go camping uh, the clothes that he uses the outside clothes are clothes that are kind of old clothes that he doesn't really care if they get dirty or or damaged so here's what he has in his pocket in here doing his everyday life so there's a knife keys a lamp and all that uh, here we have uh, his gloves uh, radio sunglasses and this old raincoat and his his bag so his bag is a 9.11 bag uh, here he has his toiletries there's some paracode here and he packs uh, his knife and he has two different uh, plastic packs here so those are some uh, changing clothes if uh, he needs to get changed so there's a t-shirt underwear with socks and um, 
uh, merino wool pant and here a fleece jumper with a hat and a scarf so this is more of a change in clothes pack and this is the pack uh, to be a bit warmer if it gets if it gets cold outside here's his laundry bag with a short inside for sleeping and here it's another pack that is in the bag that he takes out if he can't take his big bag and here it's the emergency we're gonna call it bag so he can just take it out and everything that's inside is uh, what we would need in case of an emergency so he has some electric electronic cables he has a first aid uh, bag here some baby wipes um, solar cha uh, charger solar charger a lamp this is a bottle that filters the water. It's a Katadin water bottle. It's very useful. We already tried it and it's very uh, efficient. And here there's a lighter and a Swiss knife. There, so I think we're done. So here's all our packing. So you see that everybody has their own bag. And this way, everybody take care of their stuff. Okay, so uh, we will update later and give you a quick view of what we, where we will go and what we will do. So we are just planning to go uh, free camping, make a fire if it's possible. And there, yeah, that's all. So talk to you after. Hi guys, so we finally found a place where we're gonna camp for tonight. So it's uh, in a forest. It's difficult in Switzerland to find some good place because uh, you're not allowed to go uh, in many places. There guys, so we have our camp set up. Hey um, <laughs> we started the fire to cook our meal later. So I'm just gonna show you a little bit how we had to do when we set up our camp. So we have everything in the car. We, with my husband, we sleep up there in the rooftop tent and the children sleep in the car. So I'm gonna show you what we have to do because all the stuff that we have in the trunk, we have to put it in front. And my husband has all his tools that are normally on one seat at the back and we have to uh, put them there <laughs> here so we can do the beds for the children so you can have a sneak peek here from of their beds and uh, I have put all our stuff here at the front on the front seats so luckily it's only a weekend so we don't have too much stuff and here there we have the fire going on and here you can see the children's bed, bedroom <laughs> there so we're gonna continue making our fire preparing it for cooking our meal There, so we prepared the fire now and we're gonna cook. So we prepared the soup. So we put some uh, veggies with some rice and some uh, herbs. Hi guys, hope you're doing fine today. So now it's Sunday, we enjoyed a nice night around the fire, uh, talking and just enjoying the fire. Um, now it's early in the morning, so it did rain this night and everything is a little, little bit wet. Now we're gonna pack up the car, uh, pack up everything and just go back home. 
there so I know that some of you guys won't like this video because there's this lockdown in several countries around Switzerland but you must know that for the moment there's no lockdown in Switzerland and that we are absolutely aware of the situation uh, around the world and that you might think it's kind of, of selfish but we are allowed to go out we didn't go grocery shopping for about 10 days now so we will have to go at the end of next week uh, because we still have enough food so when we go out with the defender it's always to go remote we didn't uh, have any meet up with other landies or didn't go and talk to other people or didn't stop anywhere so it was only us just as if we were at home so i'm sorry for that guys so be sure that we do think of you i am sure that the lockdown will arrive here in switzerland and that we won't be able to go out anymore um, and do we will do have to limit uh, all our contacts but for the moment our contacts are very limited uh, we only go out if we do have an important appointment like we had for Jade this week it was a point, uh, doctor's appointment so you can be aware that uh, those appointments were uh, well organized and that uh, the contact was very limited uh, even though uh, we saw the doctors and we didn't go grocery shopping as i said before and the only contact that we had that i had because the children didn't go and play with friends my husband didn't go to work uh, i only went and see my grandmother because of course she is alone at home and that i am helping her uh, on a daily basis and not only because of this coronavirus this is in place since uh, a year now so uh, it's not only because of this so that that's what I wanted to tell you um, so as I said before we're gonna pack up everything the rooftop tent my husband is in there it's uh, there's a bit of humidity as it rained this night uh, the children are in the bedroom, we're going to call it, so they have to pack up their sleeping bags and we have to put everything nice and tidy uh, in the trunk because we have to take the bags that we've put in front back in the trunk and then we will be able to go and we always take care to look around, be sure that we didn't leave any trash and that's what we always do when we go camping. Excuse me. 